Okay, let's take a look at some examples, which is probably the best way to understand this stuff clearly. Here we have a list of a few references that would be in the back of our research paper or our thesis or dissertation. And things are looking good. We've got the author's last name first, and then the first and middle name are first name, middle name are abbreviated with a period and there's a space in there and then a space and then a year inside parentheses, a period, a space, then we've got the name there and in this case it's the name of a book so it's italicized. We have the city and the publisher, location and publisher, so that's looking good. These all look fairly good. Where's the problem at? Well, if you look a little bit closely you can see that there's an issue with how these are arranged. Here we have the first one, the second one, the third entry, and the fourth entry. But in reality, we've got a bit of a mix-up. So let's check it out. The way this should be is Lazarus A should not be second, but rather should be first. And then Lazarus R, because A becomes, A is before R. Smith D should come before Smith M, rather than in that example. So here the key point is the names determine the arrangement and then if the names are exactly the same then you go after that but usually the names would be enough. Let's take a look at another one here. Olds, J and Milner, P, positive reinforcement. Okay, well, right away we see there's a problem. We've got the year way down here when we know that the year should be up after the authors. So the correct way to write that would be like this. Year in parentheses after the authors. And also pay attention there, we've got that ampersand there. Remember the ampersand, right? Ampersand. Hilgard E.R. and Bauer G.H. 1975, Theories of Learning, 4th edition, Inga Woodcliffe's New Jersey, Frenton's Hall. That's looking a little bit good, isn't it? But we've got a little detail and that's how you write the edition. So in the APA, it's very specific, 4th written with a number and a T.H. and then E.D. for edition, not written out as a whole word. And also you must remember to have it inside the parentheses. Hirsch, HVB, and Spinelli, DN. So this is looking good. We have a complicated name here, don't we? Hirsch is the last name. H and V and B are the first name and the middle name and whatever. They may have more than one name in this way, but we're just giving it an order. First, second, third, and last name. Okay, 71, modification of distribution of receptive field orientation in cats by selective visual exposure during development. And then here is the journal name, Experimental Brain Research. And we've got the issue number. And then we've got the pages. Let me make sure, okay, there we go, that's right. So we've got two here. And we've run into this special problem of, look at that, we've got the exact same names in different entries. Hirsch, HVB, even though it's complicated, Spinelli DN. So we have a case of two different papers, but by the exact same authors, even though it's multiple authors. Now how do we order this in our list? Well, we first go by the names, and when we run out of names, we go by the next bit of information, which is the date. So 1970 is before 71. So that's how we do it. First author, and if that doesn't work, we go to the second author. If it doesn't work and we run out of authors, then we go ahead with the date for ordering it. So the first one and the second one in this order. Permac 63. And per Mac 63, well, now we've got this problem. Exact same name and the exact same date, but they are different papers. 
rate differential and predictions of. So these are different papers. They are not the same paper. How do we decide which one goes first and which one goes second? We look at the P, we look at the R. P is before R, so P goes first. What if this was the same? What if the first word was the same? The first word of, in this case, a name of an article. If that were the same, then we go to the next word in the article, and then the next word, and eventually even if the, well it's not possible the articles could be the same name, is it? But just in case, you just keep going down the list until you find the next difference, and the one that's smaller goes first.